Hi friends, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra and I'm so happy and excited to introduce something I dreamt of. As they say, dream without plans don't work, but sometimes as you go along the plan, you really live your dream. Everybody loves orthopedics as one of the most sought after branches in medical science throughout the world. And being an orthopedic surgeon, most of the people they want to escalate right till the top. They want to master the art of clinical science and also the surgical science so that they are able to perform fantastic in life. Orthopedicians are enthusiastic. Doctors are dreamers. I believe orthopedicians are strong dreamers. You need to build up your career on the foundation of strong concepts. It's just like a pyramid. The pyramid at the base is very wide and as you go along the top, right, it narrows down. Similar is the competition in the world. There's a lot of density at the base, but as you keep on working hard towards your goals, you reach the top where very few can reach. And to reach there, you require one of the most fundamental things in life and that is concepts. That is why we decided the name of this program as Conceptual Orthopedics. The classical saying is, we learn each day, we learn each moment, we learn each week, we learn each year, we learn over decades, we learn every time in life. Because as appropriately said, a doctor learns every day, the day he stops learning, he dies. And that is why the second line here, the learning never ends. Let us talk about a line what I have written here. What are we aiming at? We all know we are mortals. So aim is not to live forever. But the aim is to create something that can. And that is how the birth of conceptual orthopedics came so. You know, right at the top of this program, we have a person who everybody, not only in India, but the world looks like as a god of medicine or orthopedic part. He is an ideal, not only for the orthopedicians, but also for the entire doctor fraternity. The way he carries himself, the way he conducts his OPDs, the way he has built up his career, being humble, feet on the ground. At the age of 88, Professor S.M. Tuli walks with the agility of a teen but the power of a tiger. You need to listen to him. You need to see him performing clinical examinations in conceptual orthopedics. Art should never be lost. And he is a person who is right to the statement with a touch of class and a stamp of authority as appropriately spoken for one of the cricketers by Harsha Bhogle. And you know what? I wrote to Harsha Bhogle and I asked his permission. Sir, we are building up a program of orthopedicians. Is it possible that we can use this line through our program? And you would not believe within a couple of hours, I had the confirmation and the permission to use these lines. And none other than Professor S.M. Tuli describes these lines appropriately. The program is a touch of class with a stamp of authority, 60 years of orthopedic experience and still counting. Yes, you, you heard it rise, still counting. Going till the next, my mentor, my teacher, the man who taught me orthopedics with his own hands, Professor Sudhir Kumar. Sir's principles were fantastic. Every word he speaks is a word filled with perfection because he does not accept anything but perfection. He is a man who taught me one thing at an early stage of my career that a good surgeon knows how to operate but a great surgeon knows when not to operate. And the second line is so crucial which decides the altitude you will attain in your life. His way of examination, his way of Handling the patient with care, the humble behavior he had, 
but the clarity he had is phenomenal. Throughout conceptual, you will see the way he examines. He will teach you basic principles where you will realize there are small things which are big in clinical science. As they clearly say, to excel in clinical science, you have to be in love with it. If you can't love it, you're not moving ahead. And this is what you will see his examinations of different parts of the body. His examination and performance of gait analysis, which will just show you why it is so crucial that you analyze every aspect of the patient that you see. And he can just show what are the different points which you usually ignore. Sir has blessed conceptual orthopedics throughout its course. The next person to bless us in our program is Professor Anil Dhal, a man of universal fame, known as the man with the Midas touch, has headed the Department of Orthopedics at Molana Azad Medical College and taken it to different heights. Professor Anil Dhal specializes in hands, nerves, the microscopic surgeries. So he's got the nerves to handle the nerves as we classically say, the hands for the hands, a man who's really improving the quality of life, giving the most vital structures of human body, the hands its function. His examples, his clinical examination, the way he explains these cases are just the next level. Sir, goes on to minute details in every case to show his students how you must perform tests, how you can find out things, how you should examine, what you should do, what you must not do. In his surgical videos, in his clinical videos, this entire thing is beautifully explained. Coming from Professor S.M. Tully, who has trained so many people under him, who retired as orthopedic surgeons of many prestigious colleges. Coming from Professor Sudhir Kumar, who retired as a director professor at UCMS and GTB Hospital. Coming from Professor Anil Dhal, who retired as director professor and head department of orthopedics at Manohar Medical College. We come to the man, Dr. Matthew Vergis. This man is a common name to the entire country, not only for orthopedician, but everybody. And he rose to the fame with Bill Gates, quoting him as one of the five people trying to save the world. Imagine, his man is on a mission. If you talk to him for a minute, you will realize his vision is far beyond that we can ever think. Dr. Matthew Vargas and his famous CTEV examination the way he performs, the way he does that has been beautifully explained during the course. His examples with the boat just took my heart away. It just melted everything so beautifully explained by him, right? His involvement, the clinical pictures he clicks. You can see the video rolling. He's been just into it. The models he carries. I believe if I say that he's taking education to the next level. He's trying to build the concepts at a level next is just out of the world. If you can ever give it a word, it has to be beyond outstanding. That is what we can call it. And this, this example that I'm just telling you about the boat just melted my heart. I will label it as the moment of conceptual orthopedics. Listen to these 90 minutes and trust me, Everything that you read for CTV in the books will be so simple for you. In 1990s, when we were just thinking about the scope of orthopedics into the world, a man walked on this planet, in this country, who thought about scoping the joints. He took the scope further. He mastered the skill where people were just understanding what is arthroscopy. Dr. V.B. Basin one of the finest surgeons in India. His techniques are biologically 
very well sound, technically very well strong. And one of the methods of ACL reconstruction that is explained is for the country. It's a socially responsible technique for my nation, but also for the world. His examination of knee, his examination of shoulder, his diagnosis, performance of the test are just the next level. Dr. V.B. Basin is head of the department at Sir Gangaram Hospital in Delhi. So here you can see how he is performing the examination. And this is also a way to tell you how we have built up conceptual orthopedics. It's about involvement. The person sitting with him, Dr. Ashish Taneja, is also an orthopedic surgeon. So two orthopedicians along with a patient are trying to explain you what all to do in clinical science where you always go by the rule, listen, that is hear the history, look, that is inspection, feel, that is palpation, and then the movement. Throughout our programs, we have carried down these steps. We have also explained that when to examine, where to examine, where should be the examiner, what should be the position of the patient when you're doing that particular test. So during the entire course, we have taken care of such small points. Is this course only about the test that we perform? No, it is way beyond. We are also trying to create a surgical experience. Why? Because if you teach somebody by a book, he might remember it. If you teach somebody by a PowerPoint, he will remember longer. But if you teach somebody by an involvement, he will remember for his life. And that is what is the concept here. Involving everybody so that you understand the principles. What are the key things you all see and you learn by default? But what if your mind is strained and you can think about it? And that is what Albert Einstein said. Education is about making a man think. So let's do something by involving you and by thinking. This is what a knee arthroscopy video is being played at the back where you can understand how we are trying to educate you to the surgical skills and the key points which will make you take you a notch ahead. Then comes the jewel of India. Coming from Mangalore, but not limited to Mangalore. He is a famous man worldwide. Professor Shantaram Shetty, his ways of speaking are fantastic. Way back in 2009, I attended his lectures. And they still have an imprint in my brain. He's walking down the crowd. He's talking to the audience. He's asking the questions are phenomenal. Dr. Shantaram Shetty will be sharing his knowledge on the platform to educate us about one basic principle that a doctor should remember from Hippocrates' oath. Do no harm. And this is what you must remember. His lectures on compartment syndrome, osteoporotic fractures, are very famous, are rage amongst the orthopedicians, and we are thankful that Sir has shared his knowledge and wisdom with us. When it comes to what we want to do today, every orthopedician dreams about being an arthroplasty surgeon. We thought about somebody who will teach us that. Why not to go to a man who almost originated this art in this country? Why not to go to a man who has performed Thousands and thousands of joint replacement. Almost every joint that can be placed in the world. He holds the distinction of doing it. Not only doing it, doing it so beautifully. Known as the wise man of orthopedics. Dr. Shekhar Agarwal, director of San Parmanand Hospital. Right? He shares his knowledge with us. He shares what are the secrets in doing a good knee replacement. Good hip replacement. How? to handle the complications, how to prevent the complications, and how to achieve better results. I believe that after Professor Sudhir Kumar, he is the next man to listen to where you will understand when to operate and when not to operate. He has shared his experience of about 34 years in joint replacement throughout the course where he has shown you examples, videos, x-rays, and told you how you should perform in cases of arthroplasty. He is the man when you want to replace the joints 
and he is the man to look forward and listen to if you want to excel in improving the life and quality of your joint replacement surgeries. We will be having videos from the, from the operation theatres. We will be having videos being discussed into the PowerPoints. We will be having difficulties and the solutions for the same. This is Dr. Shekhar Agarwal. Coming from the heart of Mumbai, our next speaker. If I speak that he is one of the best orators of the country and one of the best orators of conceptual orthopedics, I am not speaking something which is wrong. Dr. Ram Chadda, his ways of explaining things, his ways of looking at the details undoubtedly makes him one of the finest spine specialists, not only in this country, but across. People do wait to meet him for a long time and they say that the wait is absolutely worth it. Dr. Ram Chadda works at the Leelawati Jaslok and the Global Hospital in Mumbai and he has blessed us with the knowledge of the spine area in conceptual orthopedics. Sir's PowerPoints are so beautiful and complete that people really wait for him to explain that. He has a different knack of engaging you in his talks. And this is what Dr. Ram Chadda would do. He will make you think beyond. He is one of the videos of how to face an examiner as a resident has been very famous and we are fortunate to have that video in conceptual orthopedics. Dr. Ram Chadda from Mumbai is a treat to hear to. And then comes the younger generation, the younger group. He, Dr. Harpreet Singh, a shoulder specialist, works on the tetraplegic hand, has held true to a statement, if you every day do ordinary, you do it with care, you surely will become extraordinary. His results at this age in the shoulder surgeries are absolutely outstanding. And during the entire course, he has taken up all the cases and case discussions and performed live surgeries for us so that we have a fair idea how to do much sought after shoulder area. Shoulder is one of the areas where young orthopedicians love to excel into and Dr. Harpreet's talks will absolutely make you fall in love with the same. Our next speaker in the team is Dr. Ashish Taneja. The principle that he works on is very simple. If you reject anything that comes in the path of the best, you very often get the best. Doing his MS Orthopedics from PGI Chandigarh, he gets an extra experience to the bucket here and his talk on knee cases will be loved by all of you, I am very sure. He is seen in many of the examination cases telling you what are the basic advantages of doing a systematic and meticulous examination and how they will help you, how they will help you improve your knowledge, not only for diagnosis of the case, but how you can relate that knowledge when you are doing a surgical technique for the same patient. So his talks will be worth listening to. The next man coming from Bangalore, associated with Manipal Hospital, his areas of interest are arthrop arthroplasties and arthroscopy. But one of the premier thing that he also performs is hip arthroscopy and one of the rare persons to do it in India. Dr. Sunil G. Kinney is a fantastic human being and even a better surgeon and an orthopedic surgeon. Many of my patients from Bangalore have went to him and have been carried out with wonderful surgeries with happy results. Dr. Kinney will be sharing his knowledge with us throughout the course and specifically his knowledge about the arthroplasties, the arthroscopies, the unicondylar knee replacements and high table osteotomies. You should listen to him and try to increase your knowledge. Dr. Anuj Jain, if I say this statement that there are people who are quiet but then they are quiet with an ocean inside, he is the man to be watched for. He is brilliant with his skills, he is brilliant with his knowledge. You get one gold medal every year in DNB and we are proud that Anuj, Dr. Anuj Jain after his MS orthopedics got DNB orthopedics gold medal. National gold medalist works on joint replacements at San Parmanan Hospital is sharing his knowledge with us in many videos along with the senior people and some independent videos where he will be discussing with us the important aspects and the important joints in clinical examination of conceptual orthopedics. Coming to next, 
you know the incidence of tumors are increasing and the bone tumors also are on the rise. So we thought why not to have a person who can just explain the bone tumors at one go. You're looking at a person trained in Tata Memorial Hospital in Mumbai, further training himself in Germany. Dr. Vivek Verma works at Max Hospital in Delhi and his way of going on to do a biopsy, differentiating a benign to a malignant tumor and the different approaches to the bone tumors will be surely loved in conceptual orthopedics. Sir has educated us with an approach of suspected bone neoplasm, how to go about it, how to carry out the investigations. Throughout the course, we will having a different section of bone tumors where you can look at the different x-rays and the different procedures Sir has performed and illuminated this course in the entire completion. Dr. Jidesh. Dr. Jidesh comes back from Mumbai. He is young. He is like a powerful wave. He is telling the world that if you follow your passion, you will end up getting it. If you reject whatever comes in the path of what you want to achieve, you will in your hand have what you want to achieve. Dr. Jitesh holds the distinction of getting educated from LTMC Hospital Mumbai, coming back to Delhi, getting training from Mulan Azad Medical College, the Medanta Hospital and finally sharing his dream and living his dream of doing a spine work in Indian Spinal Injury Center. He holds very close to the core of conceptual orthopedics and all the teachers here for the way he conducts his examinations and the way he's supporting this program. Next, Dr. Abhinav Jogani doing his post graduation from KEM and now he's a consultant at the same hospital has enriched the course with a lot of background work. He's building up the important science. He's trying to build the content for it and his ways are very, very clear. So is the result and that is why Dr. Abhinav Jogani finds a place on this platform where he is sharing his knowledge with all the legends in orthopedics and trying to learn because as we classically say, learning never ends. And if I want to summarize conceptual orthopedics and the entire video, this photograph is the same. We are happy. We are happy as a team together. We are happy as a team to take everybody's knowledge at the next level. Conceptual orthopedics is a program built up for the residents of orthopedics. But I am sure that this program is going to go widespread beyond it. It is a program that the people who are doing practitioners, who are learning the arts of surgery, who are specializing into fellowships will be loving it a lot, will favor it a lot. Because this is a program which is a comprehensive program which will be built up every day comprising of the videos, the case discussion, the patient examinations, the surgical skills, management of the complications and all the teachers that you saw, yes, all the teachers that you saw are in themselves having more than 300 years of orthopedic experience and we are not stopping at that. We are ready to answer your doubts and answer your queries and this is what I am going to do and tell you. This is These two examples are about what I just said. This is a patient examination where an examination of the patient will be done. You will be having the notes, how to go in the sequence, a performer. And then subsequently, you will also be coming to know how to do the important measurements, how to go about drawing the different triangles if you are doing the examination of the hip joint and how and what are the important things you should take throughout. Going further, we will also be taking to the next level where we will be teaching you the skills of scrubbing, painting, draping, doing the surgeries, the steps of the surgeries, what to do in the surgeries, what not to do in the surgeries, how to prevent the complications and if God forbids you have a complication, how to handle it, what are the secrets by which you can improve the results and what are the secrets by which you can handle things which people don't. So we are trying to make a difference and what is that difference? A difference is just an inch. And that dates back to the completion of this video. You know, when you ask anybody, what is an inch? And the normal answer is, an inch is 2.5 centimeter. And who would not answer that? And when I date back to my experience, when I was in 11th standard, one of my senior told me that an inch is 
something that you should read about, you get MCQs on it. And you know what? I went to all the physics book and the first page had a mention, what's an inch? But then there were other measurements on the same page, etto, femto, pico, nano, micro, milli, cento, deci. So I memorized what is etto, what is femto, what is pico, what is nano. 10 raised to minus 18, 10 raised to minus 15, 10 raised to minus 12, and 10 raised to minus 9, and so on. And I memorized all the measurements. And you know what? When I came back, Right, I told my senior I know all the measurements. He said, do you remember what's an inch? I said, yes, an inch is 2.5 centimeter. He said, yes, but read more. Right, I kept on working hard. And I still remember after two years, when I appeared for my AIMS entrance exam, I got this question. This was question number 192. I was doing that exam beautifully till 191. I had already qualified for Molana Medical College for my MBBS. And I was at question number 192 where the question was, what is an inch? And you know what was the option there? The options were 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, and 2.55 centimeters. You know, I had tears in my eyes because I knew that I'll miss it. As they say, in a big game, you miss by a small margin. Do you remember 2017 IPL, where the Mumbai and the, and the Pune were playing? where Pune team was headed by Dhoni and Mumbai by Rohit Sharma. You know what? The Pune lost the match by only one run. The entire season, one run. Same thing happened in 2019. The match between Chennai and Mumbai, where the Mumbai again won by one run. You don't miss anything by big margins. It's a small differentiator that sets people apart. And this is what I want to explain you and I just marked 2.53 and I was so eager to look at the answers. You know, I rushed towards my home and I wanted to see what's the answer. And when I rushed towards the same page where etto, femto, pico, nano, micro, milli, centi, deci were mentioned, at the bottom right it was given there an inch is 2.54 centimeter. I was waiting number one in Ames. I never, I never cleared that exam again. And this is what is the difference. The difference is from 2.5 to 2.54. That is what conceptual orthopedics aims at. We want you to reach till 2.54. We do not want that we should struggle at 2.5 because this is the margin that sets you apart. So I hope that all of you learn as we all learned in the entire program together because the learning never ends. Thank you very much.